Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife and welcome back to the Toad Pond. Here behind me is the pond that I came to probably a month ago and I was saving toads. So there is a road that goes across the other side there and the toads were getting splattered. So I picked some of them up, brought them to the pond, did a bit of underwater filming which I might be able to show you on the screen right now. And now I'm back here to take a look underwater with this GoPro because hopefully the tadpoles have hatched and hopefully there'll be loads of underwater wildlife which I can show you. Let's get down there. There's nothing special about this pond, which was dug three or four years ago to hold the water that flows from a nearby road. Aquatic plants are starting to colonise and so are a surprising variety of waterfowl. Before I could get to the water's edge, I spotted this pair of grey lag geese. It's still early enough in the year for them to start nesting and I would love it if they raised their goslings here. This mallard has got the right idea. Four is a bit of a small clutch, but I can't wait to watch these ducklings grow. An exotic, but not always encouraged species has also set up home here, an Egyptian goose. These usually nest in tree cavities, and as this one was alone, and being quite bolshy, it probably has a mate on a nest nearby. And here's the last bird I'll show you, a moorhen. These are usually one of the first colonisers of new ponds, so it's no surprise to see that a pair has settled here. I'm down here at the water's edge now, and I can see already in the shallows that the tadpoles have hatched, and there are thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of them. I'm going to stick the waterproof camera in, and you are going to take a look beneath the surface. Filming with a camera on a pole and trying to keep it steady isn't the easiest. So although you can see that even from this shaky footage there was lots of life beneath the surface, I found a better spot further along the bank where it was even busier and I rested the camera on the bottom. Mainly to save my wrists, but also to stop you from getting travel sick. In this pond, I think there are more tadpoles than I have ever seen before in my life and I've seen more than my fair share. These are common toad tadpoles and currently measure about two and a half centimetres or one inch in length. They are mainly herbivores, eating vegetation and algae, but they will also scavenge any carrion they find and if food is in real short supply, they can even become cannibals. I tried to film in a deeper area of the pond and although it felt like I was holding the camera steady, that was apparently not quite the case. See how the tadpoles are almost constantly grazing? For them, it's important to eat as much as possible and grow as fast as they can. Within just two months, most of these will have grown four legs, lost their tails and started their lives as toads. Here is a picture I took last year at the pond's edge, just after the toadlets had emerged. There were thousands of them. Well I knew there was going to be some tadpoles in here, but I didn't realise just how much wildlife was going to set up home at this pond. I even saw some signs of some larger creatures that have been visiting here probably to drink. I'm quite tempted to set up a couple of camera traps and do another video, another update video a bit later in the year. Let me know if you want to see that. Now thanks for watching this video, if you want to see more British wildlife then there will be some in this video on the screen now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time down here at the water's edge now I'm down here at the water's edge now I'm down here at the water's edge now and I can